हेलो एवरी वन मैं पे सर तुषार गुजराती फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर यौला टुडे वील डिस्कस ऑन द टॉपिक दैट इज पी एल सी ऑपरेशन सो इन दिस टॉपिक वील स्टडी हाउ पी एल सी ऑपरेशन टेक्स प्लेस वॉट आर द स्टेप्स वॉट इज द प्रोसिजर ओके सो पी एल सी ऑपरेशन द ऑपरेशन ऑफ द पी एल सी कैन बी कंसिडर्ड इन टू मोड्स सो पी एल सी ऑपरेट्स इन टू मोड्स फर्स्ट मोड इज इनपुट आउटपुट स्कैन मोड वेअर इनपुट्स एंड आउटपुट्स आर स्कैंड एंड गिवन टू रिस्पेक्टिव चॅनल्स वन बाय वन ओके अँड द एक्झिक्युशन मोड इन द एक्झिक्युशन मोड प्रोग्रामिंग प्रोग्राम इज एक्झिक्युटेड ॲज पर द स्टेटस ऑफ इनपुट आउटपुट चॅनल्स ओके सो द इनपुट आउटपुट स्कॅन मोड ड्युरिंग द इनपुट आउटपुट स्कॅन मोड वॉट ॲपन्स द प्रोसेसर अपडेट्स ऑल द आउटपुट्स अँड इनपुट वॉट आर द प्रोसेसर इज देअर प्रोसेसर अपडेट्स ऑल द इनपुट्स अँड आउटपुट्स अँड द स्टेट्स ऑफ ऑल इनपुट्स इज अपडेटेड वन चॅनल ॲट अ टाईम मीन्स द स्टेट्स ऑफ इनपुट्स आय दर ट्रू ऑर फॉल्स इज अपडेटेड कंटिन्युअसली वन बाय वन वन चॅनल ॲट अ टाईम ओके द टाईम रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस डिपेंड्स ऑन द स्पीड ऑफ द प्रोसेसर If processor is good, then the speed of the scanning is more and time required is less. Okay, so this is input-output scan mode. Now execution mode. What happens in execution mode? During this mode, what happens? The processor evaluates each rung of the ladder diagram sequentially, starting from the first rung and proceeding to the last rung. Okay. so what happens in execution mode the program gets executed okay so program is in the form of ladder diagram so you know ladder diagram all of you so ladder diagram is something like this it has two vertical lines and horizontal lines in between them okay so these horizontal lines are called as rungs okay rung so in horizontal lines input and outputs are given some inputs outputs switches are there input switches output devices are there so the processor evaluates each rung sequentially means it evaluates first rung then it goes to second rung and the, it goes to third rung so like this it evaluates each rung from first to last rung okay as a rung is evaluated the last known state of each switch and relay contact in the rung is considered and if any true path to the output device is detected then the output is energized and it is set to on means what suppose in one rung suppose there is one rung is there like this and there are switches are there okay switch is there if this switch is true what happens if switch is true at the time what happens this output device gets energized that is it gets on okay so like this there is continuous path is there okay so when the true condition occurs in the path what happens output device gets on okay and at the end of the ladder diagram the input output mode is entered again so at the end of ladder diagram input output mode we have to enter again and all output devices are provided with on off state and all output devices are provided with on off state determined from execution of the ladder program and we have to check whether the devices are on or off at the end of ladder program and after that we have to all inputs are sampled means we have to sample all the inputs and again we have to start from the beginning and execution mode starts again okay so this is the execution mode now there is one more important thing is that that is plc addressing so to identify the input output devices the plc uses the device address or channel so each and every channel has some address or each and every device has some address to identify that particular device it address designation depends on the type of plc so depending upon type of plc the designation type di differs okay so now here is one table is shown okay 
So addresses are given for particular PLC. Suppose input channels are there. So address is given in the numbers like 0 to 0 7. For output channels, number is given 8 to 15. Internal relays are there 16 to 31. Timers and counters 32 to 39. Okay. So like this numbers are given for particular input output devices. So now we will see what is program diagram interpretation. So in a program diagram, the on off state of the output of the rung is determined by testing the elements of the rung for true or false condition. So suppose there is one rung is there, it consists of one input and one output. So the output, the output is whether on off state, the on off state of the output of the rung is determined by testing the elements of the rung that is this switch is element of the rung whether it is true or false. Okay. Depending upon this true or false condition, the output will be either on or off. Okay. If a complete true element path to the output exists in the rung, then the output will be made true or on. Okay. If the switch is true, at that time output will be on or output will also true. Okay. So this is program diagram interpretation. Now the symbol for normally open contact indicates that the device should be interpreted as false. So sometimes suppose this is the switch push button switch and now it is normally open actually okay normally open. So the normally open indicates which condition false condition okay. And if the contact is tested and found to be open now it is open and tested if we test this contact and it is found to be open at that time what happens there is false condition is there okay false and when that switch gets closed what okay now suppose there is push button switch and we have closed this push button switch that is normally closed contact and it is closed and it is examined on and its condition is true okay so when switch gets closed what happens its condition is true and when switch is open at the time its condition is false okay so this is very simple concept is there so now here we'll see use of normally close push button switch to turn on red light okay so here in this diagram we are using normally normally close the switch okay so here one problem statement is written using a normally closed switch to turn on a light with relay logic and PLC programming. Okay. So they have given three conditions. So first condition is A. Wrong the button turns the light off. Okay. So here ladder diagram is shown over here first diagram. If that switch is wrong the put button turns the light off. Now actually this is the true condition actually it is closed here this push button switch is closed over here and this is red light so right now the red light is on okay now right now red light is on because this switch is closed now it is first question switch is wrong and buttons turns the light off okay so now when we push this push button what will happen it will get wrong means it will get false means it will get open and automatically this red light will get off okay so this is the ladder diagram for first switch. Now second you see B option with relay logic the button turns the light on. Okay. So we have used here relay logic. So this is CR1 is nothing but relay coil is there and this is related to contact to that relay coil. Okay. So when this uh, sorry. Now when we push this press button or when push button is pressed what happens this coil gets energized because of this this contact get closed and red light gets on. So this is the second diagram okay for second statement. Now third statement is with a PLC program the button turns the light on okay. So now here the light the light 
having some code here 08 okay this is plc code or plc address and push button switch which is normally closed it has also one code that is 01 so with this push button switch that light gets on because it is very continuous straight line process okay so like this we have seen three conditions of normally closed push button to switch to turn on a red light okay so like this many conditions can be used for different types of problems so like this we have seen how plc programming can be done or what are the steps in plc programming okay so thank you so much all of you for watching this video thank you